Today I'm upgrading the headlights on this 2012 Tundra. Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe. I've got another fairly short video, what I hope is going to be a short video for you guys today. As you guys know, in the last video we upgraded the grill on my buddy's 2012 Tundra and today we're going to be upgrading the headlights to kind of match the look of this, get away from these old faded chromies. Now for the upgrade, we are going to be running some Alpha X's. These are the Lux Series LEDs. Now Alpha X offers a fairly large range of headlights for these 07 through 13 Tundras and also these guys will work in this and so will work on you guys to have your 08 through 18 I want to say or 08 through 17 Sequoias. For the install I am going to be doing this Lux which is in a alpha black. These are also available in a black I want to say and a chrome. Um, don't take my word for it, hit the link in the description below to see pretty much the full lineup of these lights for these trucks. Now for the installation, I think this is going to probably take me about 10-15 minutes because unlike the other you know, trucks like the Tacoma, we don't have to pull out the bumpers or anything. These headlights are just being held on by three bolts. We're going to zip those off, throw these guys on. These do come with DRL, so we're actually going to have to use the add a fuse to you know, connect that to our fuse box. I'll show you guys how to do that. Very simple. And then also before we replace these guys, I'm going to get some before and after shots against the wall just so you guys can see the light cutoff. And then at the end, I'll show you guys how to adjust these lights as well. In most cases, these guys will be kind of, you know, cattywampus when you install them. Not a big deal. We are just gonna use a screwdriver and adjust these bad boys. Now, if you guys do wanna see more content, as I mentioned last time on this 2012 Tundra, make sure to drop me a comment below. What should we do on this next? Drop me a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and without talking too much, let's get into the install. But wait, before we get into the install, I have to do something that's very oddly satisfying for me. I am gonna put this back for now. Just so I don't scratch these guys up as we're installing them. So let's get into it. Now, before we start pulling headlights off and installing these, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the wiring. These are going to be plug and play, so we don't have to worry about anything. The only thing we're going to have to transfer over from the OEM lights is going to be the turn signals, and they're going to go right here. As you guys can see, there's this little vinyl piece covering this, so we're just going to have to transfer those over, and it's going to be pretty much the whole housing and the whole plug, so that's not too bad. Everything else, plug and play, don't have to worry about it. One thing looking at the instructions, it says not to worry about this plug right here even though we have this guy over here on the drl harness it says not to use this so we'll see how that goes but that's that very important these lights do have daytime running lights and they do come with this harness right here now i believe that this is a universal harness which alpha x uses for multiple models on the tundras so we're going to start on this end right here where you do have these two red wires. Let me see if I can show you guys. So two red wires to keep in mind, the short end goes on the driver's side, longer end goes on the passenger side. And you guys will essentially take this and plug it into this plug right here. So just into the red wire and it'll just plug straight in. From there on once, so again, long passenger, short to driver's side, on your harness itself. It says not to use the yellow wire, so we're not going to. We're just gonna put that guy away. And then on your little add a fuse, we are going to be adding this into the ignition spot. Now the reason for that is when the truck is on and the lights are off, the DRLs are going to be at full power. As soon as you turn the lights on, the DRLs will go to reduce power and then the lights will essentially overpower it. So that's why this will go into the ignition spot and I'll show you guys on the other fuse. And then finally, we do have to power these bad boys up by adding power here. The reason we're going to be powering these guys up, this is just for the DRLs. So theoretically, when the lights are off, the reason it's getting full power is gonna be from the battery. Once the lights are on, it's gonna to go to reduce power. So. There's that. Also, if you guys do have any questions on this, I'll throw up a diagram up on the 
screen right now on how this works. And then also you guys can just go to the install instructions for these if you, if you guys get lost or if this doesn't make sense to you guys. All right, so let's get on with the install. We're gonna pull off the lights, throw these puppies in, throw the turn signals in, hook everything up. Once that's in, we'll go through and I'll show you guys how to adjust them as far as both like vertically and also um, side to side, so horizontally. Now, I guess since I have the lights out, let's see. So this guy right here is going to adjust our, it's going to be our vertical adjustment and this knob is going to be the horizontal. So left to right, up and down right here. So, and, it's, and theoretically to do this, all you guys gotta do is take a, now this is a flathead, but take a Phillips screwdriver, you throw it in up here and you can essentially twist it left and right, they'll go up and down. And then on this guy, it's just going to be a flathead to go left and right. Or you can use a Phillips up here to adjust it that way. So very simple, you know, a lot of people when they get new headlights, they throw them in and they align themselves and they say that they're, you know, pieces of crap. In reality, you just have to adjust them. And that's why it's important before you do any work, throw your truck against the wall, you know, get a good reference point where the OEM lights are. And then afterwards, you can just kind of match these guys up to where you want. And also, one thing to keep in mind, if you guys do, you know, you are, you know, lifting or leveling out your truck, it's always recommended to adjust your lights to, you know, compensate for that. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is pull off this little cap right here underneath the headlight. To do that, we just need to pop off this clip right here. This little push clip. There we go. Next up on this guy, there's two pins that go in, so we have to pull this out this way. Um, I would recommend if you do have a little pry tool to put it in here to kind of separate this and then pull it. I don't have one and I don't want to scratch up the paint, so I'm going to try and put a rag around a screwdriver. We're going to pry it in here and then just pretty much pull straight back. If these pins do break, um, we'll try to fix that, but we are really going to try not to break these pins as we're pulling this out. There we go, good to go. Next up, remove the 10 millimeter bolts. So here, here, and here. And then we just have to pull up on the headlight, get over these little clips. And gently just pull it straight out. Now I'm just gonna twist these guys out to pull all the bulbs out rather than doing it here. Just cause it's so tight. It's gonna be easier to just unplug everything this way. And as I mentioned, remember you are going to reuse this guy. And then here at the bottom is our little leveling motors. Same thing, unplug it. Now, before we get started with all the wiring, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up this added fuse for the DRLs. This little fuse that I have pulled up right here, as you guys can see, the 10 amp. That's the one you're gonna to wanna to pull out. Come on, focus. So this guy, I'm gonna pull it out. You're going to add it to your little added fuse and then just plug this guy in. So that's very simple. Let's go and do that real quick. <clears throat> and there we go, it's in there. I got the wires ran nicely and down through the fuse box. Now we can close the fuse box, that's done. Then after that, we'll go through and hook up the red wire to the battery. So red to the positive, black to the negative. That'll power it up. That way we'll be able to test the lights before we button everything up. So now that we have that harness done in here, let's go ahead and hook everything up and see if the lights work. lights okay looks like our little sequence works lights work low beams high beams awesome okay, perfect now we know the lights are working they're set up properly one thing I do want to mention in the back as you guys can see this little plug right here essentially there's two plugs it's a male and female end gray and black at first I was confused, but they actually just plug into each other. So you'll make sure you do that. Okay, now that we know that this works, we're gonna go ahead and just repeat and just reverse all the steps from taking this off, throw it back on, tightening everything up, 
and then we'll go through and just adjust the lights to make sure they're level and we have a nice um, light output on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're all done. Repeat the same process on the other side. Next up, we're going to go through and just adjust the lights. <laughs> and there we have it for the install. How good does that look? Now for the installation, this took me about 20 minutes to do both sides. Super simple, especially compared to the <laughs> Tacoma or the 4Runner. So, you know, I'm actually starting to fall in love with this truck more and more as I'm working on it. Now, again, these are the Lux Series LEDs. One thing I do want to mention, as I was aiming the headlights, um, that probably took the most time, you know, of everything, especially because for your vertical aiming, it is on the bottom of the headlight. And unfortunately, because my buddy has got a bunch of wiring over here, I couldn't reach in there to adjust it. So I had to like continue pulling the headlight off to adjust the vertical line. Right now on the screen, I'll throw up footage of what the OEM lights look like compared to this. So you guys can see the cutoff and just to see how much brighter these lights are. I do want to mention that with this shot, the white balance has been locked. So ignore the colors. Um, the LEDs on the Lux series are going to be a lot cooler and a lot brighter. In my opinion, I think this looks killer, especially with the grill. All we need to do now is get rid of the front chrome bumper, but I don't know if that's on the agenda. Now that's all the time I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this build. Drop me a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see ya.